Let's take a look now at our point feature definitions and I've expanded down to an entry for a stop sign. What this point feature definition does is it directs what we're going to place in our drawing in our geometric workflow we can place a point feature definition. It allows us then to pick one of these entries under our point features. And to take a look at how this is set up in our primary category here of our feature definition or our properties we have a description of what it is and we have a name seed. It is required that we only have a singular name assigned to a particular point feature or a linear feature and so we have a name seed and so if I were to place two of these the first one would have a default seed prefix name of SS and the next one would be SS and then numerically the number one and so on. So the description and the prefix of the name seed are both defined under the feature definition. We also have the capabilities of defining an item type and item types are going to be talked about in a different training series but it's essentially the ability to assign additional properties to a feature definition when it is placed and so you could pick those from a particular DGN library where you may have item types set up and those are supported for point features and linear features. Then we also have the point feature symbology and so if I were to select the drop down here the point feature symbology will expand everything under the symbology designated to be used for point definitions or point features. Well where does this point feature symbology come from? Well if we collapse our feature definitions and expand our feature symbologies you will see a category in here for point features and I've duplicated the folder structure here and the name and that's not required uh, but just kind of to keep things a little easier to understand in terms of the flow. We have one, two, three, four different categories for the symbologies of a point feature definition. One is the annotation group where you could set up a label for example every time you place a point feature you want a particular annotation to take place along that a particular point feature and we'll be talking about annotation groups in a separate training series. Then we have the default element template, the plan element template, and the 3D element template. So let me take a moment just to explain what a default element template means when we're looking at feature symbologies. Should a user not want a different symbology in plan view versus their 3D model view they can simply select a MicroStation element template for the default category and leave the plan and 3D categories blank. Both of those will then revert back to what was assigned in the default field. And this default field is simply selecting a MicroStation element template to dictate or to control its symbology and what is drawn. And in this case I've expanded the element templates to show uh, for a point feature definition of a stop sign. I have selected the level, the color, the style, and the weight. And in this particular case, because it's a point feature, I also am assigning it a cell to draw when that particular point feature has been chosen to be placed. And so the point feature definition is very straightforward. You have the feature definition, the description, the prefix field. If you want to assign it an item type, you also then have to select the point feature symbology, which is created underneath the feature symbologies point features category. And that then, of course, must be pointing to a microstation element template. This then demonstrates how we are to set up an individual point feature definition. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.